Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain 10 things about Beta Ray Bill in about a minute. Beta Ray Bill's first appearance was in Thor number 337 in November of 1983, and he was created by Walter Simonson. Surtur, the eternal enemy of Asgard, destroyed the Burning Galaxy in his attempt to bring about Ragnarok. The Burning Galaxy housed the planet of the Corbinites. With invading demons getting nearer their home planet, the Corbinites began evacuation efforts. This consisted of several steps, including arranging for thousands of ships for transport and cryo-freezing everyone in order to conserve food. They would also need a champion. A contest was held with thousands of participants. The champions were genetically engineered with the most dangerous, carnivorous beast from their home planet, and then fitted with cybernetics. Bill was the only one to survive the process with his mind intact. When the Corbinite fleet launched, Bill alone would travel in front of the fleet, with his intelligent warship, Scuttlebutt. Together, they would search for a new home for their people, and destroy any demonic attack. Bill and Thor met in combat due to a misunderstanding, with Bill coming out as the winner, twice, and he became the first being, other than Thor, to prove himself worthy of wielding Mjolnir. He demanded his right to the hammer, recognizing that this immensely powerful weapon could protect his people from any demon. Odin crafted another hammer for Bill, equal in every way, named Stormbreaker. Beta Ray Bill has proven himself the equal of Thor in every way imaginable, even besting him. He is also Thor's best friend and greatest ally, willing to give his life for his friends and those he protects. Beta Ray Bill is considered a second son to Odin, and he is an equally powerful warrior to Thor, with an equally powerful weapon and a heart as large as the burning galaxy. And that's 10 things about Beta Ray Bill in about a minute.